Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today is Sunday for this recording. So today we're going to do Nmap, still part of the beginner, complete beginner learning path, I reset the Nmap. And I think I'm going to do nine tasks out of 15, make it a two part series. All right. Uh, yeah, let's get right into it. As you know, guys, uh, I'm just going to show you how to answer each task, read through every task and get full understanding. This one is about Nmap, an in-depth look at scanning with Nmap, a powerful networking scanning tool. So, task one, deploy. Answer your questions below. Deploy the attached PM. So, complete. And I'm just going to close this out. And then task two, introduction. So it just talks about the history of Nmap and the creation. So answer the questions below. What networking constructs are used to direct traffic to the right application on the server? So as you read, it says when a computer runs on a network service, it opens a networking construct called port. the port or ports yeah next question how many of these are available on any network enabled computer and as you read through it it says every computer has a total of 65,535 available ports so copy and paste and then it says research, how many of these are considered well known? These are the standard numbers mentioned in the task. Hint, search in Google how many well known ports are there? Substituting in your answers to question number one. So I'm just going to highlight Google. And what's this? Sure. Oh, I'm going to put ports are there. There you go. Zero two one two zero three. So one two zero three or four. Yeah. All right. Let's go test three and map switches. And this one talks about end map, right? So I already load my start machine and attack box. So. Let's uh, close this out and type. All you need is the help menu, right? So the end map. So n map dash h. So here's all the lists of. Let me make this bigger. So answer your questions below. What is the first switch listed in the help menu for SIN scan? More on this later. So skin scan, scan techniques. And the first one is dash at lowercase s, capital S. Last question, which switch we use for UDP scan? So as you read through it, scan techniques are right here. Dash lowercase s, capital U. So some of these are fairly simple. Next question, if you wanted to detect which operating system the target is running on, which switch we use? So operating system. So OS. Dash O, capital. Next question. MMAP provides a switch to detect the version of services running on the target. What is the switch? So, version detection. And I believe it's dash lowercase s, capital V. Yeah. Next question. The default output provided by MMAP often does not provide enough information information for a pen tester, how will you increase the verb verbosity? Verbosity. 
Okay, so we're supposed to be. Increase verbosity. Uh, sorry, increase in the output. So it's dash rule case B. A next question verbosity level one is good, but verbosity level two is better. How we set the verbosity level to two? Nope, it's highly advisable to always use at least this option. So increase, and this is right here dash VV for greater effect. Next question, we should always save the output of our scans. This means that we only need to run the scan once. Reducing network traffic does chance of detection and gives us a reference to use when writing reports or clients, which, which we use to save the MAT results in three major formats. So three major formats. Formats, format, OS tech detection. Let's see, formats. Okay, let's see, we'll switch three major formats. Is it all? Yes, it is. Oh, right here. OA outputs three major formats right here. All right, next question, which switch we use to save the MAP results in normal format? And that one is pretty easy. So dash, lowercase o, and Next question, a very useful output format. How will you save results in a groupable format? That one's easy. So it's uh, dash, lowercase o, capital G. And then next question, sometimes the result we're getting just aren't enough. If we don't care about how low we are, we enable aggressive mode. This is a shorthand switch that actively service detection Operating system detection, trace route, and common script scanning. How we activate the setting. So aggressive is miscellaneous right here. So it's dash A. Yeah. And then next question, MMAP offers five levels timing template. These are essentially used to increase speed of your scan. Speed your scan runs at. Be careful though, higher speed or noisier can incur errors. How will you set the time main template to level five timing template? All right, timing and performance. And this is right here, capital T five, yeah. All right, so we can also choose which ports to scan. How will you tell MMAP to only scan port 80? All right, port specification scan dash P sample. So dash P. All right, how, next question How will you tell MMAP to scan ports 1000 to 1500? Again, this example right here. So dash lowercase P 1500. There we go. A very useful option that should not be ignored, how will you tell MMAP to scan all ports? So, scan common. I believe, let's see here. Nope. Yeah. All ports. There you go. How we activate a script from the MMAP scripting library. Lots more on this later. So, activate script. 
script scan, scripting library. So yeah, so it has different script scan. And last question is how we activate all of the scripts in FOMO category, hint. There are two variants of the switch, one with a space, one with equal sign. Look at the asterisk in the answer field to see which one is it. So it's talking about the script. Mercy equal sign. So just by seeing the hint, so I'm going to do is dash dash script equal one. Yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, yeah, task three is pretty important. Get used to it. And as you get comfortable, it doesn't look foreign as you practice more. Our task two, so we're gonna go to scan types, they're always to task nine. So overview. So it talks about TCP, SYN, UTP scan. It talks about no fin and XMS. Answer questions below, read the scan types introduction, complete. Task five, scan types, TCP connect scans. So I'm going to mix a split view. This talks about the TCP Jewish shake. So answer the questions below, which RFC defines appropriate behavior for TCP protocol? Hint, RFC 793 was depreciated and replaced by a new RFC, what is it? So as you read, through this task, you can actually open and read about this. So it's the RFC 9293. If a port is closed, which flag should the server send back to indicate this? Let's see. And so where if MMAP sends a TCP request with a sending flag to a closed port, the target store will speed respond with TCP packet with RST reset flag set. RST. All right, next one, task six, scan type SYN scans. Again, talks about SYN scan. Answer questions below. There are two other names for SYN scan, what are they? So as you read through, the first line says, these two scan types are slightly different. SYN scans are sometimes referred to as half open or stealth scans. So secret scans, right? Half open, stealth. Last question, can MMAP use SYN scan without pseudo permissions? Yes or no? Let's see. I should read through it. I think it says there, there are, however, a couple of disadvantages since again, namely the require pseudo permission. So, yes, no. All right, task seven scan types, UTP scans. So, it talks about UTP. Answer questions below. If a UTP port doesn't respond to MMAP scan, what will it mark as? Let's see. When a Packet is sent to you, open UTP port. There should be no response. When this happens, refers to port being open filter. In other words, it suspect the port is open, but it could be firewall. Last question, when the UTP port is closed by convention, the target should be sent back port and reachable message. Which protocol would it use to do so? So protocol, the target should respond with it, ICMP. Right. Task eight, scan types, no fin and Xmas. So these are even stealthier scans, I believe. So it just talks about different, these th different types. 
answer the questions below. Which of the three shown scan types used to URG flag? So, can type URG. And so, right here. As XMAS scan that says PSHURG and FIN. So, XMAS. Why are known FIN and XMAS scans generally used? Most common, generally used, it's stealthier. Generally use firewall. As is right, the last that said the goal here is firewall invasion, so stealth scan. So yeah, stealthier scan. So firewall. And last one is which common OS may respond to no fin or XMAS scan with RST for every port? Common OS, oh, right here. The second to last paragraph, in particular Microsoft Windows are known to respond RST to any malformed TC packets. Yeah. All right, last one for this video. So task nine scan types, ICMP network scanning. And just talks about ping sweep and answer your questions below. How will you perform ping sweep on the 172.16.x.x .x network, netmask 255.255.0.0 .0 using MMAP? CIDR notation. The CIDR notation for a class B network or default net mask is slash 16. So we're talking about ping sweep, so there's two types, SN conjunction. So we're gonna use this one, right? So it's gonna be nmap dash this one seven two dot sixteen dot zero dot zero slash 16. There you go, guys. All right, uh, this is a free room. So yeah, I'm going to stop at task nine. And if you like this video, guys, please give them a hit the subscribe button, uh, like this video, uh, hit the notification button, and comment on my videos. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Helps uh, me motivate. And yeah, so this is part one, I'm going to do part two later this week. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.